What's up, Madden 25 gamers? In today's video, we're going to be talking about a Madden 25 pressure blitz that we like to generate from the 3 4 solid formation. And uh, the play that we like to use for this is the 3 4 solid trio sky zone. This is a video that um, a lot of people have talked about over the years and uh, over this year, especially on next gen. But it's just a way to generate pressure out of this formation. So the setup is very simple. We want to uh, base and line our defense so that everybody goes into the same generic spot every time. We want to spread our defensive line. We want to crash our defensive line down. And then we can take this uh, guy here, Bunkley. We want to put him on a quarterback spy. And then we're going to take this guy, uh, Jordan, our left of screen defensive end here, put him in a man assignment on Graham, or we could drop him into a curl to flat zone um, to kind of take away some of those out routes depending on whatever you want to do. I typically like to do a combo man zone here. So I'll man up the outside guys with the corners and kind of play a little man zone. The only player uncovered is the halfback and kind of have those zones just dropping. But that's just how you can get adjusted with this play. But we should see that right B gap pressure. You see the center actually slid over and tried to uh, slide protect to pick him up. Gave Drew Brees time in the pocket and uh, got lucky he delivered it over the top. But um, let's take a look at this. If we don't spy, uh, or excuse me, if we don't drop this Jordan guy into a zone, which we want to contain, uh, let's see if there's any different result. I think there should be some better pressure off that right edge. As you see, there's that pressure, and uh, we get the sack with Lofton for the fumble. So uh, that's just something to note that if you want a little bit better pressure, you don't want to drop anybody off the defensive line. You just want to kind of leave them all blitzing. There you see we actually got some A-gap pressure uh, from the defensive tackle. But you see the uh, the thought process that we're, we're trying to get you guys thinking about here. Um, but you definitely want to drop um, this quarterback spy here on the nose tackle because it's going to kind of clean up those blitz angles and really help you get that seal off that right edge for you. Um, you're not necessarily going to get anybody in 100% uh, untouched, uh, unless I think you might have to do, let's see if this works here, spread the linebackers out. No, they're still sliding over. Um, they might have actually patched this blitz because it was very, very effective early on in next gen. Let's try this here. For some reason, the center's sliding over, and I don't, it, it's still good pressure, but it's, it's kind of getting picked up, as you can see. Um, Let's try this setup here. Let's see if that works. And you see that's a little cleaner pressure uh, towards the quarterback. But again, we're we're kind of getting held up. That little that little second of hold up is is kind of a big deal because it uh, gives the offense a little bit more time to find an open target. And there you see once again we we just are missing that little bitty uh, kind of thing to get in pressure at our opponent. Um, but anywho, uh, the four, three, four solid trio sky zone. There you see, we finally get the play of uh, the best way I want to do it. So for the consistent pressure, we want to base a line, spread our defensive line, crash our defensive line to the left, quarterback contain Jordan here, and now you see we get that cleaner pressure. Um, but I do like the coverage version. Uh, a lot more than the heavy pressure version because you get a free guy in coverage and typically uh, this guy on the right side of the screen will come on in free as you see here he kind of puts that pressure on and forces Drew Brees to make a quick throw so uh, that's all we can ask for and uh, if you guys like this play let me know uh, if you guys want me to find something a little better for this the next time I uh, will try to find a little bit better of a blitz uh, but I think this play has a lot of power and it's a very good run defense uh, for the right edge so if you're facing buck sweep or stuff like that this is a really good play as you see the only kind of thing you have to watch out for is him getting bottled up but this is a really good play another good part about it is you can run a flipped so square r2 we're going to flip the play we're still going to keep the same setup baseline spread defensive line crash line down quarterback spy bunkley quarterback contain hicks and you see we should get that left edge pressure down. It actually works a little better off the left edge, a lot cleaner of a blitz angle. So uh, that's just something to note. That's the Trio Sky Zone for today. Just wanted to give you a quick pressure blitz. Setup should be in the description for you guys for the right edge and the left edge pressure. Thanks, guys.